Before we assemble here in this Flash Action Script 3 tutorial, it's always good practice to show the finished product. So let's publish out. Geez, that's taking forever. Okay. And this is what we have. Dragging within bounds. Dragging objects, movie clips on stage within a bounded area. The stage is a little bit larger here and I have a rectangle and that's what it's bound to. And that's what you'll learn in this tutorial. Okay, here we go. In this Flash Action Script 3 tutorial, I'll be showing you how to drag within bounds. That means uh, pick up an object and move it around within a, a bounded space, an area that you define to where you can't drag it off the screen or off the stage. Uh, and I'll also show you how to do some uh, fireworks and flash workflow. Uh, bringing images in, if you don't know how already how to do that uh, easily, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's get back to dragging within bounds. So first thing you'll notice is I just created a new Action Script 3 project and I'm in Flash CS3, but you can be in CS4 and uh, what I've done is made three layers, Action Script layer, Image Movie Clip layer, that'll be the item that we drag around and uh, a rectangle a rec bounds background and that'll be an image pattern or something it could just be a rectangle if you wanted it can be an invisible rectangle if you wanted but uh, let's go ahead and get these items here now and we'll import them as movie clips so we can just give them an instance name so here I am in fireworks and I'm gonna grab one of these images so actually let's get the background first so press control C with that image highlighted take your mouse highlight the image press control C and then go back into flash and on the image movie clip layer press control V and it'll say uh, current frame as movie clip and that's what you want into and uh, the objects import as bitmap to maintain appearance yes and keep all text editable uh, if you wanted that option you could do that and press OK but it's important to import it as a movie clip press OK and then once that's on stage just position it to where you want it and that's the bounds that way the new object that we put on here is going to be uh, not able to be uh, dragged outside of this area people won't be able to drag it outside of this area because we're going to use this shape its width, its height, and also its position on stage. Let's just put it at 50-50. So it's at even numbers. So it's at an X position 50, Y position of 50. And I'm going to give it an instance name. I'll select it and call it Rect, R-E-C-T, all lowercase. And now go back into Fireworks and let's grab any any object you want to drag around. Press Control C and then go back into Flash and control V on this oops I put that on the wrong layer I'll, I'll remove it now I'm going to import this one same way as movie clip add it where you want it on stage make sure it has even numbers uh, it's not really necessary but it's best to and then uh, let's see or not even numbers but a, a decimal of zero on the X and Y position I just like to put all my my objects at uh, zero on the the decimal position no matter what the number is okay so where were we let's give this an instance name now that it's in of image holder one that way you could put multiple call it image holder two image holder three if you wanted to add more but I'm just gonna put one and now we gotta put this on its correct layer so press control X once that's selected and put it on the layer it should be the Rex background layer and uh, I think that's it now the code I have in here and you can get this code by downloading the free FLA file from developphp.com you just go to developphp.com right here and you download the free FLA file to get to the source you see all the code nice and clear and you see a working application from the start so you know it's not bogus what I'm doing here okay uh...
yeah you get to develop PHP and let me show you real quick hit the flash and action script tab right there in the middle and you'll see a whole big list of action script 3 uh, FLA files you can download free because you know we just we just do it that way okay so uh, back to the code here's all the code I commented out really nice and what we do is we get certain object uh, we get the X position, the Y position of this object here and the the width and height of that object in code we attain those values and we put them into variables and we use those variables to do a little math and now once we press F1 or F12 sorry to publish out you can see that hey look at that I can drag my movie clip and what's better is that it never leaves the bounded area of that cool image pattern I have back there or whatever rectangle you set back there normally with dragging it would go wild and drag everywhere on stage but this way if you wanted to set a boundary for your drag it cannot leave the boundaries no matter what they try and do and that's pretty much it so this file will be free for download and you can check it out if you're interested in getting this kind of functionality in Flash, ActionScript 3 and CS3 or CS4 whichever one you're using Alright, and the next tutorial I think uh, I'll show how to drag within bounds all through code without adding anything to the stage. And that should be pretty cool for you guys who are more on the dynamics end. Okay, we'll see you next lesson.